Cargo Collective tutorial. How to use Cargo Collective step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Cargo Collective. Now, Cargo Collective is a site builder that is designed for designers and artists and they are more so built for people that are looking to build a creative profile through showing their work, displaying artwork. So this is great if you are someone that is in a artistic industry and you want to display artistic side to your potential viewers in your portfolio. Now, I wouldn't say that Cargo Collective is the ideal website builder. I do find it to be far less intuitive than some of the others out there. But at the same time, I would say that it's very different. And because it's so different, it allows you to build something that's very unique without having to rely on the same, you know, five, six patterns of websites. So let's get started with building our website using Cargo Collective. Now over here, we are browsing some templates that you guys can see. So these are just some basic templates that Cargo Collective provides and you can get started with any one of these templates. However, if you just click on start on the top right, you can first build your account and then get started. So that's what I am going to do. I'm going to be building my account first and then we're going to click on OK. Once we click on OK, we can see our account has been built. Now we will see two folders and we can click on new site and then we can pick out our template. Now, if you want a blank screen, you can scroll down and go into wireframes and under wireframes, you will have a blank website. Personally, I don't like to get started with a blank website. So if you scroll down, you can see different styles, boards, presentation styles, as well as samples and specimens, profiles, menu and overlays, backdrops, filters. So you have ooh, a lot of different options. So I am actually going to be using, I think I want to use this one because this is really interesting so once you click on this you can preview it you can preview the desktop version and then the mobile version as well so I'm gonna click on use this template on the top and once I do that this will copy the template then once the template is copied and I click on it and then I can click on edit on the top left now, once I click on edit on the top left, this will open up the cargo editor. Now on the top, you will have your folder so you can go back into your sites. Then on the top menu bar, you will have all of your editing tools. This includes backdrops, page options, products, icons, your marquee, lists, horizontal, text options, and then you have this option called add. On the right side, you will have your publishing settings, your default paid settings, your textiles, as well as site settings, as well as your commerce tools. However, Cargo does offer Cargo Commerce, which enables a site to have shopping functionality. Cargo Commerce is free to try, and if you want to actually enable payments, then you can select an add-on, which is $66 yearly or $9 monthly, and they do not charge per transactional fee. I personally don't think this is the best tool for commerce. However, if you're just selling one or two products, let's say you are a consultancy and you're selling a guidebook on how to build your brand then you know you can sell those one or two products directly from here otherwise i don't recommend this for people that are actually in e-commerce so let's get started with editing it first off we have our navigation bar once you click on this you can click on the columns and you can alter the column now i want to go into the navigation bar and this says project one project two now i am going to click on the top right here i can actually remove or add items in the navigation bar so first off i am going to alter the project because i want to start building from there so i'm going to click on my site it's up for it is up right now so it has been published and this is project one now this navigates to the home page project one link to page and I am going to actually delete all pages in this set and then I'm going to go into the navigation bar and then remove this like so and then I'm going to add my own name like this Lily Davis now from here we can proceed with adding our own elements so if we want to add columns we can add those I don't want to add columns here so I'm going to actually scroll down click on this section here and once I click on this section I can add a gallery let's say I want to add a freeform gallery 
Now I have a magnetic snap on this, a pop to hover, fit to width, shift, as well as zoom. I'm going to zoom this out to 70%. Then if I click on the elements, I might want to resize this a bit. And if I hold the elements, they are going to be moved. So from here, we have the magnetic snap, pop to hover. I'm going to alter this because I don't like this type of gallery. I think it's better to go with maybe a grid type of gallery. And the number of columns I want is two. We have gutter, vertical alignment. We can go with columnized, slideshow, freeform, justify. I'm just going to keep it with a grid. Now for each grid, I can select the grid. And once I select the grid, you guys can see we have effects and then we have the ability to add. So in this, you can click on add, click on more. And you can add your own button, backdrop, icon, flying object and more. So we can add any image. We can click on images, click on upload on the left. And we can upload our image. Now I'm just going to scroll down and add an image from my brand. Let's just wait for that to be uploaded. Okay, so we can't do WebHP file, so we're going to use a JPEG instead. I'm just going to have to search for a JPEG image. And once I do that, this will now be uploaded right over here. And I can select the video or the backgrounds that I want to use from here. So wallpaper and once i do i think it looks fine right now now i'm gonna go back and we're gonna remove the set of elements within our navigation bar like this and i'm gonna go back into this from here we can click on add more lorem ipsum and we're just going to scroll to the bottom and we have different text styles and i think i just want to add some basic functions behind our grid okay so these are added behind our grid which we will have to move like so so we're just gonna go on ahead not use the commerce but instead the site settings the borders like this now once your site is ready you can click on your top right to preview your draft and go to your site and then on your top right you have your publishing settings so you can make your site public add your own domain change the site name and you will have a free domain name that is provided by cargo you also have a favicon and a contact form that you can enable to collect leads so that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And, and if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video